In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four steps infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will reveal the step one where I've added the title, the option number or the step number. You can add some detailed text along with the icon and when I click, it will come uh, with a different color combination, the step two, step three and step four. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any light color background then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose a rectangle which is top corner rounded draw a small rectangle and then go to the rotate rotate right 90 degrees here i'm going to give the width as 6.5 and the width is the height is 1.9 okay and then you can see the small orange point you can just drag this one inside to make it uh, more curvy at this corner so this is my very first one shape outline make sure it is no outline and shape field you can just give any color of your choice and later on we can change it then i'm going to duplicate this three more times so hold the control shift key and here the height i'm going to make this as six only so i'm going to reduce it okay again hold the control shift key and this time i'm going to make it as 5.5 and gradually you have to decrease okay and then the last one I'm going to make it as five only. All right, so you can see here we have got uh, your gradual uh, decreasing uh, rectangles I've created. And if you want, depending on the requirement, you can increase the space. So here you can see here there's unequal space between them. So what you have to do is I'm going to select all these four shapes, go to the align, and you have to just say distribute horizontally. So equal spaces has been given. The next step which I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this the top part okay so that this rectangle I'm going to uh, cut into two parts okay for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle something like this okay so this part right mouse click go to the format shape I'm going to make it transparent so you know exactly how much I'm going to cut it okay shape outline make it no outline so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one and I'm going to duplicate this one to equal number of uh, the rectangles which I have selected here. So four, I need this one. So press Control D to duplicate and exactly put it on top of that one. Okay, press Control D. You can see it's adding. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this shape, hold the Shift key, select this one, go to the merge shape and I'm going to make it fragment and delete this part. Okay. Now select this shape, hold the shift key, select this one, merge shape, fragment and delete this. Then next one, select this and this, merge shape, fragment and delete this. Then the last one, merge shape, fragment and delete this. So you can see here, I have cut this into four parts sorry the two equal parts okay two parts where I, I want to add some title here at the top so the first color shape fill I'm going to give some this orange I would like to give some kind of a green this color I would like to give a kind of a red any color of your choice and then I'm going to give a blue color here all right and select all the shapes first of all instead of selecting all select one by one select this shape press ctrl G now select this shape, press Ctrl G, Ctrl G again, and this also Ctrl G. Now I'm going to select all the objects, go to the shape format, and uh, under the effects, shadow, and I'm going to give shadow, which is, uh, you can see, uh, offset right. So the shadow effect also been created. Now again, if you want to create, uh, keep this color, light color, you can keep it, or if you want, you can just change the color to more lighter color as well okay so let me just choose this lighter color press f4 key to repeat the last task okay so you can see here the color has been changed and now it's time to add some detailed text so go to the insert text box i'm going to type step 01 i'm going to use the font which is open sans extra bold 
center align increase the size and font color i'm going to choose white okay then go to the insert text box here i'm going to type title again center align again choose any font of your choice make it bold then go to insert text box here add detail text here okay so reduce the font size center align and we are done okay again if you want to add some icons to it what we can do is go to insert icons choose some relevant icons here depending on the requirement so i'm going to randomly choose some four icons here you can see here some random icons i'm just selecting and click insert the icon got inserted and i'm going to make the height and width as 0.6 only and then start putting the icons at the bottom you can see here one by one and again you can give the same color what we have used here blue if you want you can or you can just keep it the same color which is black so but giving the same color from the top uh, gives you a good uh, presentation or slides okay so once this is done i'm going to select this one this one and this one press ctrl d to duplicate and move it here this is my step two press ctrl d and ctrl d okay so now my step two step three and step four and once this is done we need to group it so select all the objects press ctrl g okay one one options at a time okay press ctrl g so here also press ctrl g and here also press ctrl g all right and one more last thing which we need to do is you know it should look kind of a things we have to give a cutout uh, option where it looks like that is coming from that screen okay so go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the sorry from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the oval shape draw or oval shape which looks like this shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to select the gradient fill by default there are four steps or four stops so two stops i'm going to delete and the direction i'm going to make this here and this one i'm going to choose the same color which i've used in the background and here i'm going to give a kind of a gray color and reduce this one okay and here also if you want to reduce and then you can just go to the effects under the soft edges you can increase the sorry soft edges you can increase the soft edges here okay and then put sorry put it exactly on top of this you can see here all right again if you want you can just make it more uh, uh, soft edges then hold the control shift key drag it towards the right and here we have to reduce the height of this okay then press control d comes here and then control d here so what we can do is we can just quickly add the animations go to the animations enable the animation pane so i'm going to select these four add animation i'm going to choose more intense effects and from here select the peak in peak in click ok and it should animation effect should come from left and it should happen on click all right so if i play now this may first comes second third and the fourth one so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these options